Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, excited that this is the day that the Lord has made and I am rejoicing and I'm glad in it. I am so excited about our program today. It is power packed and I'm going to get straight to it. But you got to make sure, friends, that you have marked your calendar. This Friday is the next CBC Christian Business Connection Evening of Synergy. It's going to be at the Urban League of Metropolitan. St. Louis right there at 3701 Grandale Square. The tickets are only $10 in advance if you go to my website and get them online or $20 at the door. But either way, it is well worth the value. You don't want to miss it, friends. We have a couple of vendor booths available. Be there. Go to the website thecbcradioshow.com Well, let me get to this program because it is great. We have Pastor Doris Bracely of Stepping Into the Light Ministry talking about the Won't He Do It Women's Conference. We also have Pastor Betty Randall of Perfecting the Faith. She's going to do part three of Spring Cleaning. We also have Veronica Logan of VL Production. We have Bishop Prentice Thomas of Heirs of God Church. And we have Miss Kimberly Ward of Kim's Herb and Detox Center. And of course, our own Dr. Katrina Thompson Bowdry, Dr. Tebow, and our pocket doctor. She's going to be here today. And then we're going to be speaking with Paulette Grant of Paparazzi Accessories. We've got a packed show, and all of these folks are going to be at the upcoming Evening of Synergy this Friday, May 13th. Go to the website, thecbcradioshow.com. Well, when I come back, we're going to be speaking with Pastor Doris Bracely of Stepping Into the Light Ministry. Stay with me. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event, an evening of synergy, Friday, May 13th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor Bruce are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program that we were going to be blessed talking about the upcoming Women's Conference hosted by Stepping Into the Light Ministry. Won't he do it? Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited about this Women's Conference. And we're blessed this morning because we have the host pastor of this Women's Conference on the program. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Pastor Doris Bracely. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning. Good morning. How are you in Radio Land? Oh, I know all is well this morning. Now, you know, Pastor, I did not tell you that I was going to ask you this question, but I ask everybody who comes on the show before we start. And the question is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I can truly say that this is the day that the Lord has made. It's a day that I've never seen before. Amen? Amen. Amen. And, yes, and it's a day that you never saw before. So this is a blessed day. Yes, it is. You're rejoicing and you're glad in it, aren't you? Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pastor, we're so excited. The buzz around town. We're talking about the Won't He Do It Women's Conference. We could just stop and preach right there, couldn't we? We sure can. We sure can. Because, you know, all of us is believing God for something. Yes. And uh, all of us, you know, we uh, have been, you know, uh, struggling in our faith walk. Yes. And uh, we, we we believe, you know, and we stand on the word of God that God would do many things for us. But, you know, as time goes on, we begin to get attacked. Mm-hmm. and uh, negativity and opposition from the enemy will come and kind of shake our faith a little bit. But I am a true believer, and I know by standing standing on God's word and his promises that he will do it. 
Yes, he will. Yes, he will. <laughs> and and this uh, exciting special conference is going to be on May 21st, Saturday, May 21st at 1030 at the Church of Salvation located at 4545 Dr. Martin Luther King right here in St. Louis, zip code 63113. And Pastor Bracey, you've got some dynamic speakers that's going to be a part of that, don't you? Yes, we do. We got some women of God right here in the city of St. Louis, a man that God is just raising up. Oh, God, so powerful, so anointed women of God right here Mm -hmm. in the metropolitan area. We're just excited about what God is doing in these women's lives. Amen. Amen. You've got uh, one of your speakers is Pastor Kanoe Clark. We just love her. You've got Pastor Johanna Freeman and your ministry of dance is going to be Sister Deborah Cook. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yes. (laughs) And, you know, also, Pastor, you have allowed this women's conference to be free of charge. There's no registration fee. There's no registration fee. It is free to come. It's free to the public. And also there's a free lunch. Wow. And, wow. you know, just free all across the board. You know, we're, uh, we are asking for an offering, of course. Mm-hmm. We'll be collecting an offering from, from our guests. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's just, just free across the board. You know, sometimes, you know, the Lord, he'll say do that because freely is given, you know. Yes. And um, he, wanted, he wanted me to just give back. So yes. I just want to just give back. And yes, just, and just believe God because I know that when I get back, I would know that God is He's He's gonna do it. Yes. Amen. Yes, and you know, uh, truly, that is what you are ministering. Of course, uh, your husband, uh, uh, Bishop um, Bracely, this is what you all have been giving back for years as a part of stepping into the light ministry. Am I right about it? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, dealing with the homeless, dealing with the drug addict that is struggling with drugs and alcohol, mm-hmm. and uh, our heart goes out to them. That is that is my mm-hmm. husband' heartbeat right there. That is his ministry, and I am joining forces with him to reconcile these men to Jesus Christ to give them another chance in life. Oh my goodness! You know, I, I, it's not enough time to talk about the testimonies that God no. has done within stepping into the light. But Pastor, can you give us the phone number where people can call to get uh, more information? We're just about out of time. Yes, yes. Um, I have three one four four two two six three three seven, and I also have three one four two three one five one seven five. Wonderful. Pastor, we're going to have you back on the program So as we get closer to the Women's Conference. But I want to thank you for being a part of the program this morning. You are so welcome, and thank you for having me. All right, Pastor Doris Bracely of Stepping into the Light Ministry, Women's Conference, coming up May 21st at 1030 a.m. Church of Salvation, 4545, Dr. Martin Luther King. Thank you so much, Pastor Bracely. Friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event. An evening of synergy, Friday, May 13th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor Bruce are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Welcome back, friends, to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And I tell you, we have just been so blessed for these last two weeks talking about spring cleaning. Well, guess what? We're going to continue this thing for another two weeks. I'm so excited about it. Pastor Betty Randall of Perfecting the Faith Ministries has been such a blessing to us, telling us how to clean out our house. (laughs) So she's got some more words from the Lord for us this morning. So I want to welcome to the CBC radio show, Pastor Betty Randall. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning. Praise the Lord, Evangelist Nona. Yes, yes. Truly, yes. God is good. Yes, He is. And He's good all the time, and all the time He's good. And you know what? What? This is the day that the Lord has made. <laughs> I will rejoice and be glad in it. 
How about you? Oh, amen. I'm rejoicing. I'm glad about it too, Pastor. Bless you. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Well, Pastor, the, the Lord's going to take this thing further, isn't he? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, we we talk about repentance and, we, you know, we know that for, uh there's a season for everything, you know. Mm-hmm. It's a time to do everything. And everything is, God is a God of order. Mm-hmm. Praise God. And we talked about uh, house cleaning. Mm-hmm. Uh, spring cleaning. Yeah. yeah. Now, you know, everybody don't need to do spring cleaning, but some of us do. <laughs> Praise God. And, and so some of us need to repent. Yes. Some yes. of us, you know, we talked about repentance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then we talk about forgiveness. Yes. Oh, man, that's a hard one for us. Yes, it is. Praise that, God. That's something right there. Well, I know you got a whole complete word for us, Pastor. So <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to step back so you can step on in and give us part three of spring cleaning. Go right ahead, Pastor. Amen. So we 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 talked about repentance and we talked about forgiving. And now we got to do some confessing. The Bible tells us that we got to Confess one to the other, one to one another, our faults, so that he can forgive us. Because we want him to forgive us as well. And when we start confessing our faults, repenting and forgiving others, God's going to forgive us. And guess what? When he forgives us, he throws it in the sea of forgiveness. And I tell you, then we become free. And it sets us free so that we can praise him, we can love him, we can love one another. Because you know God said that we couldn't possibly love him and we can't love one another whom we see every day. Amen? So we want to we be in a position to do the things that God has called us to do. And the only way we can do that is that we love one another. We got to love one another as we love ourselves. Amen. I know some of y'all are saying that's tough to do because I just can't stand sister so-and-so. Well, you got to pray on that because you got to be able to stand sister so-and-so. Oh, praise God. I, I I remember in the Bible, in the Bible, there were, there were times that uh, some of the patriots, They didn't like one another, but when Jesus showed up on the scene, he told them that there wasn't no room for that. We have to love one another, and we have to show love. And how do we show love? By being kind. He said, through love and kindness have I drawn thee. He's not going to draw if you're just being all crazy and, and, and mean, because those are the works of the flesh. And the works of the flesh is not God's way. God's way is the work of the Spirit. We must be, we got to praise God in spirit and in truth. Not just in spirit, but also in truth. And in truth means that our heart got to be right. We got to love from our heart. We got to clean up. We got to repent. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We got to repent. We got to forgive, and, and then we got to confess. You know, I, I I used to do this, but I don't do that no more. I got caught up. Hallelujah! I got caught up. Praise God! And we'll get sometimes we get caught up. Praise God! Not loving one another, we get caught up talking about one another. But God said not so, and we got to confess those faults so we can be forgiven for those faults. You know, an addict cannot uh, get through or get clean until they recognize that they are an addict. So how, how about us? How about us? Until we can forgive, we can't get forgiven. Uh, it's, I'm telling you, these are the words of God. This, this is the gospel truth. Hallelujah. God is just so good. And, his, you know, his word is right today, tomorrow, and forevermore. There is no season for his word. He told us to preach the word in season and out of season. <laughs> when they want to hear it, when they don't want to hear it, preach the word. So everything else, there's a season. A time to plant, there's a season. 
a time to pluck up, time to harvest. Praise God. Last week we talked about that good old ripe tomato. For those of us who like tomatoes, there may be something else that you like. Praise God that you want to plant. But make sure that you've broken up your fowler ground before you start planting. You know, back in the country, and you could hear the tractors at 5 o'clock in the morning. They'd be getting ready to go out on the fields. They'd be hooking up the, the plows and getting ready to go and break up the ground because you can't plant on uh, a ground that hasn't been broken up. You, it's not going to grow. You want to put your seed in good ground. Hallelujah. And that's a whole other sermon. But you want to put your seeds on good ground. So in order to do that, you got to break it up. We break it up by repenting. We break it up by confessing. We break it up by forgiving. Hallelujah. Those are the prerequisites that we have to do in order to break it up. Get the ground ready to be plant, to put plants in there, to put seeds in. It doesn't mean anything if you plant seeds and you haven't repented. I, 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 one portion of the scripture said, uh, leave your gift at the altar and go back and repent to your sister or your brother. Repentance is part of that breaking up of the fowler ground, getting that soil ready. So then you can plant seeds. We we hear it in the church all the time. People are saying, come on, plant your seed. But what kind of soil are you planting in? You re- you expect a return, but you're not going to get one if the soil isn't ready. You're not going to get a return. You're just planting seeds for nothing. They And even if they come up, they won't produce. We want to plant in good ground because we want a full crop in the harvest time. Praise God. We We want to be doing something that pleases God, not our flesh. Not our friends, but please his God. Oh, I tell you, this this God that I serve is wonderful, and I thank you for it. Sister Donna, bless you. Glory to God. Yes, he is a gr- this God that we serve. Yeah. <laughs> Words can't express it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know, uh, Pastor Randall, you're going to be at our evening of synergy coming up on Friday, May 13th. We're going we're so excited to have you there, Pastor. Praise God. I'm excited to be there. Yes, yes. I'm so. looking forward to it. Yes. Now, it, it, who know, you know, you have to be prepared to have prayer and to pray with folks at any time. So I know people have been listening to this, and, you know, it's been a blessing with, you know, you're talking about spring cleaning. So we just want to let everybody know that the spring cleaning pastor is going to be <laughs> at the upcoming Evening of Synergy on Friday, May 13th. Can't wait to see you there, Pastor. <laughs> Thank you for being a blessing to us. And we're, you're going to be back next week on Amen. part four all right Amen. Amen. We're going we're gonna to close this thing out next week. Yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. All right. Best, oh, bless you so much, Pastor. Thank you for being on the show this morning. And thank you for having me. God bless you. All right, friends. We're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event. An evening of synergy, Friday, May 13th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor Bruce are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, we are counting down the days. We're so excited about VL Production First Lady of God Pastors and Evangelist Hat Showcase and Fashion Show Gala. We are so blessed. This is the buzz around town. And we have the founder of VL Production with us this morning. I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Mrs. Veronica Logan. Good Good morning. Good morning to you, Evangelist Thomas. You know, you know the question. You know I asked you what last time you was on the program, and that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Absolutely, it is that day. 
You rejoicing? Hey, man, every day, you all go- day. And you're glad in it. I'm very glad in it, <laughs> even for the little things. Hey, man, you know that's right. You know that's right. Well, I tell you, we're excited for the big things because you have a big gala that's coming up on Sunday, May 22nd. You know, I just want to touch on how did God give you this vision for this special day? Well, I'm an event planner. And I always have like, different events, and I just said, Lord, I just want to do something for the people of God. And I just say it's such a thought when you see these ladies come to church and how they be dressed up and feeling good, and you can just tell the way they're just moving. Like our first lady is um, First Lady Mary Austin, and I said, I don't want to touch you because you might cut me. She'd be so sharp, you know. <laughs> and I just said that, uh, Lord, you know, I thought I would like to have a fashion show because I know these ladies have a, a wardrobe for the clothes, and they just don't have to, you know, wear two or three clothes, and we're just going to have them to come down one time, you know, in their clothing. And some of the people I'm going to be honoring is you. You're going to be one of the person I'm going to be honoring. I know. I'm so excited about that. Truly, truly, that is a blessing. That is really a blessing. Um, let me ask you this now, because I know that we have churches and folks listening that they can actually nominate their special lady. And there's a whole package that comes with that. Tell us about that. Yes, ma'am. It's just 150 and they get two dinner tickets, they get a full page ad, they get a bio, they get a plaque and a photo shoot. And they get five uh, visitor tickets, like the guests can come. They get five tickets, and that value is over $300, but just 150 it would be just in time for Mother's Day. So just so you appreciate her. And then also, they can also turn in ads, and all the ads they turn in, they get half of that money also. Wow, this could also, this could be like a fundraiser for a church to a degree, am I right? Absolutely. It could be a fundraiser for the church or something to give back to the First Lady. Mm-hmm. Now, one thing that I do, uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this part. It's going to be held at the Jewel Box in Forest Park, which is a beautiful, beautiful setting. How did you choose the Jewel Box? Well, it's a nice venue. I mean, you got the glass, you got the plants. Everything is already ready-made. You don't have to really add any extra to it. Just bring the people and their beauty. Yes, yes. It's going to be wonderful. Now, I know vendors are available, too. Now, do you still have vendor space? I do. I probably have maybe about three vendor space. And the vendor space is $150. They get a full-page ad. They get 10 show tickets, two dinner tickets, and then they get the booth. Wow, that's a great, great value. Now, I know that there's networking that's going to start at from, what, 6 to 7.30? Yes, ma'am, while we're doing dinner, because it's not going to take you an hour to eat, but, you know, people are always conversate while they're eating, mm-hmm. and which is good. But after they get through eating, they can visit the vendors, and they can do the networking with them and each other. That's such a business card, so it's just going to be a good time. It's not just for women. It's for men and women. Yes, yes. It just sounds like a wonderful fellowship. I want to let my listeners know, if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Mrs. Veronica Logan of VL Production. We are excited about the First Lady of God, Pastors and Evangelists, Hat Showcase and Fashion Show Gala. Now, Mrs. Logan, can you give us the phone number and how folks can contact you? Because, you know, you've only got a couple spaces left for vendors. Tickets are going fast. Folks have got to jump on it. Yes, ma'am. You can reach me at 314 314- Five three seven zero two three nine, or you can always email me at vlproduction four one one at yahoo dot co dot com. I'm sorry, this and Victor Allison Larry Production four one one two at yahoo dot com. Great, great, great. Give us that phone number one more time, if you would. Three one four five three seven zero two three nine. Now, you mentioned, of course, you are an event planner and have been doing this type of thing for years. So you are available. Your services are available for other folks, for events, et cetera, for you to plan. Am I right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Now, see, that's that's great because, you know, uh, sometimes folks are just, you know, you're just busy and you can't do all the little details. But that's what you specialize in. (laughs) Yes, ma'am. I even have a friend who has some uh, fine women clothing, and she's going to be the grand finale. She has some exquisite jo- exquisite gowns. They're so beautiful. Uh, her name is Miss Phyllis Jones of the Dress Code Boutique. So she's going to be the grand finale. I mean, she has prom dresses. She has after five dresses, just uh, even dresses for kids. Oh, my goodness. We're so, going to have a great time. We're going to have a great yeah, time. Yeah, so you don't want to miss that grand finale because it's going to be a taste to see. Yes, yes. I tell you what, we're out of time, but give us your phone number once again, would you? Yes, 314-537-0239.
Wonderful. Mrs. Veronica Logan of VL Productions, the First Lady of God, Pastors and Evangelists, Hat Showcase, and Fashion Gala at the Jewel Box in Forest Park, Sunday, May 22nd at 6 p.m. Thank you so much for being a part of the CBC Radio Show today. And thank you. Have a great day. All righty. I sure will. Friends, we're going to take a short break right here. You know, we're going to take a break while you have time to call Mrs. Logan to get your tickets for this exciting gala coming up. That number again is 314-537-0239. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event. An evening of synergy, Friday, May 13th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor Bruce are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program that we were going to have a dear friend of the CBC Radio Show with us this morning. And he has his annual You Are the Image of God conference coming up. We can't wait to give you all the details. I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Bishop Prentice Thomas. Good morning, Bishop. Good morning, Evangelist. It's so nice to see your lovely smiling face on this morning in the name of Jesus, my God. Truly is him. Truly is him. <laughs> now, you know the question I'm going to ask you. Uh huh. Is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Absolutely. Every day when we're in his presence, we can truly say that this is the day that the Lord has made. And therefore, regardless, we can rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, That's the right answer, Bishop. You know, oh, you know I'm what telling to say. you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> Glory be to God. You know, this is a time that God is opening doors for his people. And these are strategic doors in the kingdom. You do not have to worry. You do not have to fret. You have to make sure that you're in line with your purpose and the destiny that God has called you unto. Amen. Because he has enough power enough ability and resources to get the job done. We also have to understand, evangelists, the time that we are in. We are not it, we are not uh, in the final hour. We're in the end time. We're past the final hour. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. Mm-hmm. And whether people know it or not or recognize it or not, we are heading toward the, the rapture of the church. We're, yes. we're heading toward that. The things that are happening are transpiring politically, socially. Amen. And and just spiritually, all all of the signs are lining up. But also the Bible lets us know in the book of Romans chapter 8, I had my Bible turned somewhere else, it talks about that all the creation is groaning and waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Because as they manifest, that is also a sign and trigger, amen, also of the approaching rapture and catching away of the saints. But in the church, the people's mentality, is not in that realm where it should be. We know the fivefold ministry, the apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher is designed for the perfecting of the saints, work of the ministry, edifying of the body till we all come to the to the uh, full maturity, mm-hmm. amen, mm-hmm. and of the knowledge of the Son of God. But what God is looking for now is for our mentalities, our minds to be uh, retrained and elevated taken to the, the to the place of where we understand who we are as the image of God. Yes. We have to understand who we are as the image of God. Now, we are created in God's image and likeness in Elohim. That's Hebrew for God. That is the first that is the first manifestation of man being God's image. But that image failed in the garden through Adam. Okay, so then when Jesus, Yahshua the Messiah, when Jesus Christ came 
his job, well, I can say it that way, his job was to bring us back to our original position. Mm -hmm. Our original position is as sons and daughters of God. And he said for us to take dominion, to take dominion in the earth realm. But how can you take dominion, evangelist, if you don't really know who you are? Who you are. If you don't really know who you are. Not that I'm a doctor, a lawyer, a disc jockey, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. No. We have to know who we are from our creator, mm -hmm. from our creator. And regardless to the Big Bang Theory and the and Doran stuff and all the rest right. of that, amen, God came to me personally in regards to this, in regards to this mandate, in regards to this assignment. He said, you are to impact your generation when you are the image of God. So that counsels out all of the other uh, uh, books, all the other philosophies, all the other things that science and, and people with uh, 55 degrees, mm -hmm. the whole nine yards. He said, impact your generation when you are the image of God. With that mentality, evangelist, amen, it will line the people up to be able to walk with God, mm -hmm. to walk with God, not as servants, not as slaves, not as Christians. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. My God. But as his sons mm -hmm. and, and daughters, because that's what J Jesus is the seed. Mm-hmm. To produce more like him. Yes. We're not talking about somebody walking around with a robe and a beard, talking about they're holier than that. No, 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 no. The image of God fits the society, fits every, every ram of, of existence, of occupation, the whole nine yards. So during this conference that we're having, we have different guest speakers that are coming. Amen. We have uh, Pastor Kelly. Yes. Say her whole name yes. for me. Lisa mm -hmm. Kelly Tate. Yes, okay. She's, she's going to be, be one of the speakers. Speakers. That's on Thursday night. We also have Pastor Marcus Nichols. Amen. He's going to be Wednesday night. Mm, Glory be to God. Lord. And then we have uh, Bishop Dr. Reynold Thomas, who has his own Bible college. Yes. He's going to be a speaker. We also have Dr. Edna Letha Long, a Christian Girls Center, who has her own Bible college. She will also be one of the speakers. Amen. We uh, also have Prophet Shirley Johnson. We also have our out-of-town guest, uh, Dr. Stephen Hamilton from Houston, Texas, his mm -hmm. wife, Dr. Barbara Hamilton from Houston, Texas, mm -hmm. amen, and Pastor A.C. Uh, AC Richards from Chicago, Illinois. Now, it's two luncheons, two luncheons. Mm -hmm. That's on Thursday and Friday mm -hmm. from 11 to 1. You have guest speakers for those luncheons, mm -hmm. amen. And then also on Saturday, we have the banquet at 6 o'clock. Now, people who come to the conference, the price of the conference is $45. Mm -hmm. That that include the gift bag, include a luncheon and the banquet ticket. Wow! And, and you and you know we have our we have our own chef, Chef uh, Darkus, and oh my God, and he's a professional. I've had and, his food before; it's delicious. <laughs> delicious. And so and so and that's that's for the conference. Now, Amen. Uh, at two o'clock each each day. Uh, two o'clock on Thursday and two o'clock on Friday, I will be teaching on the basic doctrine of the image of God. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very important. Glory be to heaven. So all these guest speakers, plus we're, we're putting a, uh, a choir together and, and having, you know, uh, other guests and things. But this is the conference that they want to be in. Now, we want to make sure folks have those dates, Bishop. That mm -hmm. is May 25th through the 29th. That's Wednesday yes. through Sunday. Uh -huh. My goodness, everything is going on during the day and mm -hmm. the even nightly services. Uh -huh. Now, mm -hmm. that is going to be held at mm -hmm. the State of the Art School, which is located at 4130 East Lexington, uh -huh. zip code 63115. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, the registration deadline is coming up. Uh -huh. The registration deadline is May 14th, so we need mm -hmm. folks to... Hurry on, because this is mm -hmm. going to be a great blessing, isn't it, Bishop? Uh -huh. Yes, yes. And so they can also call the number here, which is uh, 314-261-4348. And um, uh, because some of you are just hearing it, we can go past the uh, the deadline, which is May 14th. Mm -hmm. They can just call in and get their, uh, you know, their registration, and registration and everything. That's a uh, blessing. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because uh, this is a mandate. This word and this 
impartation has to happen for the people. Our theme is the same seed taking dominion. And the scriptures are Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, Colossians chapter 3, verse 10, and 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. Uh, we have to understand that we are no longer, it's, it's time for the body of Christ to come to the next level, next dimension of where God is. When the 21st century came in, things change. You know, reformation has happened. Reformation is when God brings things into a more perfect alignment. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's doing with this, with people discovering that they are the image of God. Amen. Glory be to heaven. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Well, I, one thing I tell you, Bishop, this is your annual event. And yes. we know from the last conferences that mm -hmm. God has done some amazing things. And we yes. expect no less. We expect yes. even more in yes. 2016 and what he's going to do. Yes. Bishop, yes. we are out of time. Oh, but my God. I, I know that you're going to be, you promise you're going to be back on the show with me next week. I sure am going to and be back with my that. evangelist. Yes. And the week after that, in the name of Jesus, <laughs> my God. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, friends, let me tell you one more time. We are talking about the Image of God conference, and mm -hmm. that is May 25th through the 29th, right there at the State of the Art School, located mm -hmm. at 4130 East Lexington. The mm -hmm. phone number to call to get those tickets, 314 314- 261-4348. Thank you for being of the a part of the CBC radio show today, Bishop. Oh, it's, it's always a joy to be with my evangelist. I also want to say that on the 29th, that Sunday, Bishop uh, Lindsay is going to be our, our speaker. But everybody need to be a partaker of this. I'm, I'm also will be speaking from my manuscript from the book that I'm writing on, You Are the Image of God. Can't wait to hear more about it next week. Bless you, Bishop. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the next Christian Business Connection networking event, an evening of synergy, Friday, May 13th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, located at 3701 Grandel Square. Great networking, delicious food, and more. Go online to thecbcradioshow.com to get your $10 advance tickets. Vendor Bruce are available. Call 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225 for more info. When we all come together on one accord, expect greatness. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you about the buzz around town on the new opening, the grand opening of Kim's Herb and Detox Center. I'm so excited about this woman because the vision that God has given her, it's just not being done right here in St. Louis the way she's doing it. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show this morning, Miss Kimberly Ward. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am. I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. Good. Now, you know, I didn't prep you on this question. Okay. But this is a question I ask everybody before we start the show on the program. Okay. And that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Absolutely. Are you rejoicing? Yes, I am. Are you glad in it? Very glad. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Well, I know you're glad. I know you're just so excited about this business. I know the Lord has given you a great vision for Kim's Herb and Detox Center. So tell us about how did God give you the vision for this? Yeah, I think it actually began when I was in college. Um, I just had this sense of wanting to be healthy and had no idea what I was doing. I just started <laughs> eating nuts and seeds and raisins, and I just had no clue. <laughs> and then after that, um, I started be getting involved with, like, multi-level marketing um, uh -huh. in the area and um, selling a lot of natural herbal products. Uh -huh. That was kind of my introduction to it um, before where I am now. Uh -huh. And then after that... Um, I started an online herbal store called Kimberly's Herb Shop, mm -hmm. and it was basically um, a way for me to sell products, but it was a low risk. It was a very low risk way to do this, and I believe God wanted me to step out all the way and do a store. So I was trying to do it the safe way, and of course, it didn't really kick off the way I wanted to. Mm -hmm, so then mm -hmm. I just turned 50, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do what God has for me. 
So I just stepped out and I'm opening up an herbal store and it's opening up this weekend. Well, you know what? Let let me just go back about three sentences. Uh, (laughs) uh, My listeners, when she said that she just turned 50, I want to be a witness. You can't see her, but I'm going to be a witness to say she looks nowhere near 50. Okay. (laughs) And there's such a glow in your skin, such a glow in your skin. Does that have anything to do with the herbs and the detox? I wonder. Yeah. I mean, I try to eat healthy and Mm -hmm. I'm into my, I mean, everything I sell. I basically use myself, yes. you know, so I want to sell something that I believe in mm-hmm. and that I know that works. That's well, just... I want to tell folks that I recently toured uh, your beautiful, beautiful center. And one of the things that stood out to me that I have got to get my feet in is this foot. I... Ionic foot bath. Ionic foot bath. Tell the li- listeners about that. That's great. Yeah, basically, um, The machine causes ionic activity in the water, Mm -hmm. and it just pulls out toxins from your feet. Mm -hmm. And um, I've done a couple of customers already, and they've just been, like, amazed at what it's done. Wow. Um, Someone I just did recently had joint issues, and then the water was orange, which indicates joints, Mm -hmm. you know, detoxing from the joints. Mm -hmm. So. It's just, it's amazing. So I'm really happy to be able to help people. Let me tell you, St. Louis, if you better hurry up and get in because it's going to be a line around the corner. And uh, that's just a taste of what you can provide in the services at your center. Tell us right. about more. Yeah, um, I also have a bio mat. It's basically an infrared mat and it detoxes from the inside mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. And eventually I want to add more machines and more tools to my to my store, like mm-hmm. a um, infrared sauna mm-hmm. and more like that. So mm-hmm. it's really all about detoxing and getting the environmental toxins out of your body because mm-hmm. um, we're just um, exposed to a lot of that stuff yes. on a daily basis and yes. our food and the air everywhere at work. Yes. <laughs> so it's good to, pro- to do a detox on a regular basis. And, you know, I think most people want to do something different. They're trying to do something different to eat better, to just be more aware of what's around them. Don't you think? I think so. That makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. People are really more focused on their health right now and doing natural alternatives. So mm-hmm. coming to my store, I do offer a lot of a lot of that stuff. So. Yes, yes. Now, you, I think you're conveniently located because I think everybody knows the area that you're in. And as big as the marquee is, uh, we could not miss Kim's Urban Detox Center. Okay, awesome. We could not miss it. But <laughs> give us the address and phone number to where you're located. Um, It's 9634 Olive. Um, in the Olivet area, and the phone number is 314-395-3767. Give it to us one more time, would you? Um, 9634 Olive Boulevard, Olivet, Missouri, and the phone number is 314-395-3767. Wonderful. Let me ask you real quick. You know, we have organizations and we have churches that are uh, a very big part of the CBC radio show. Are you able to go into locations, organizations, churches, ministries and talk about the products or services that you have perhaps do a workshop and just talk about the importance of uh, being healthy can you do that absolutely if they can just contact me with you know at that number Mm -hmm. I can look at my schedule and I I would be happy to do something like that, actually. Yes, yes. I I really think it's needed. In fact, um, you know, we often do the healthy living tip here. Do you think I can get you to give us a healthy living tip? Just maybe a couple that, you know, just some basic things that would help to make folks feel better and enhance their quality of life. You want one now? Yeah, I know you got one off the top (laughs) of your head. Um, I would probably say if you have any yeast issues Mm -hmm. or candida, Mm -hmm. you know, just really watch eating carbs that are white, Mm -hmm. like white bread, white potatoes and all that. That'll help yeah, you kind of reduce you like. okay. yes, sugar and all that. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a good one because many people, yeah, yeah, we have succumbed to that. And so, um, but I tell you what, I'm going to have you come back on another time and give us a, an official uh, Kim's Urban Detox Healthy Living Tip. Is that all right? That sounds good to me. That sounds good. Now, we're, we're, we're just about out of time. Is there anything else that you would like to say this morning? Um, I just look forward to people coming into the store and um, I am there to help you with your health issues and give you advice and go from there. All righty. Give us that address and phone number one more time. It's 9634 Olive Boulevard in Olivet, Missouri, and the phone number is 314-395-3767. Wonderful. I'm so excited about the things that God is going to have you do and how you're going to be a blessing to the community. Thank you so much, Miss Kimberly Ward of Kim's <laughs> Herb and Detox Center. Thank you so much for having me. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. 
Hi, I'm Kim, owner of Kim's Herbs and Detox Center, and we're located in the Olivet area. Our mission is to offer people natural herbal alternatives for many common health conditions, such as chronic arthritis, hormonal imbalances, digestion issues, and more. We also offer other products to help you maintain your healthy temple, for example, detox kits and vitamin supplements. Come see us at 9634 Olive Boulevard or call us at 314-395-3767. Kim's Herbs and Detox Center, helping you take care of your temple of health. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, you know it's time. It is time to talk to Dr. Katrina thompson Bowdry, otherwise known as Dr. Tebow. She has got some great things to talk about with us this morning. I'm so excited to have her a part of what I'm calling the CBC team. So let's welcome to the Christian Business Connection this morning, Dr. Katrina thompson Bowdry. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm happy to be here this morning. My goodness, it is a great day. Well, you know the question. So is this the day that the Lord has made for you? And I'm happy to be in it. Yes, yes. it is. Rejoice and glad, <laughs> all that good stuff. Yes, ma'am. Amen, amen. Well, you know, I just want to start right off by saying we're so excited that you're going to be a part of next week's evening of Synergy. It's going to be a blessing. We're going to be at the Urban League. Can't wait to see you there, Dr. Bowdry. Yes, I'm so excited about this. I'm excited to give knowledge and information and pamphlets out about material that is very important about chiropractic and share it along with the community as well. Indeed, indeed. I know, uh, you know, you're also known as Dr. Tebow. Yeah. Now, you've got to kind of tell us about that now. Okay. I know many of my listeners, they know, but for those who are just tuning in for the first time. Okay. Well, my last name is Thompson, and my married last name, along with my maiden name is <laughs> Bowdry. So instead of me using Dr. Thompson Bowdry and someone have to constantly say that over and over again, we were trying to find something that will stick with people. And so some people called me Dr. T. But then I was like, I don't want to leave out Bowdry. Right. So we hyphenated made it T. Bo. <laughs> we took half of the last name of Bowdry and just shortened it up to make it Bo. I love so that. we made it Dr. T. Bo. And I was like, you know what? I'm okay with that. I am the T. <laughs> T-ball of chiropractic. Yes. I might not be on a football field, but I'm the T-ball of chiropractic. That's right. That's right. So then you got to tell us, how did you get your other name of the pocket doctor? Okay. Well, pocket doctor was very unique. Um, I'm the pocket, the doctor in your pocket. So basically, um, I wanted to make sure that this tool will give people information on a daily basis that they need. And so when you pull out your phone... You can also pull out the doctor to get some information on whatever you needed. And I wanted to make sure it was something beneficial to you, even if it was a positive quote or even if it was something about drinking water mm -hmm. or understanding what really is chiropractic. Let me check into that. That probably can help me out. <laughs> so having those type of tools and information to say, wait a minute, I didn't know this type of stuff existed. Just getting you involved and in tune with yourself to say, I'm deeper than just a surface layer. Yes, so. yes. Yes, yes. Well, we accept you on all those names. You just gave us three, so we accept you on all those names. Thank you. <laughs> well, you know, today we're going to talk about something that, once again, every time I talk to you, there's just like this new revelation that you give me. But you're going to talk today with us about how chiropractic can be very helpful for special needs children. Am I right? Yes. Special needs children need care just as regular everyday people need care as well, mm -hmm. too. Um, special needs children classifies as autism, mm -hmm. um, Down syndrome, and other types of issues issues of special needs where you have to put more time and care in for those children. Mm -hmm. And this is very important because they have a spine as well. Mm -hmm. um, example for special needs children down syndrome, um, they need to function more. Yes. They also have other mechanical and physiological functions that they're dealing with mm -hmm. as far as in digestion of heart disease, heart problems. Yeah. But they also have to deal with everyday life and they have a spine. And that spine can help with mobilization, can help with sleep patterns, help with functioning or breathing patterns that can really bring out a lot in them. Also working with the other therapists, not just telling you to come to the chiropractor, mm -hmm. but making sure they're receiving their occupational therapy, mm -hmm. make sure they're still going to the speech pathologist, mm -hmm. making sure they're staying away from certain foods. Mm -hmm. That will help as well as a combination effect with special needs children, especially with autism. Mm -hmm. Autism 
is very special because some people think it's from vaccinations Mm -hmm. and majority can be pre-led to vaccination. And some think a predisposition as far as in they already had the gene for it. Mm -hmm. And now it's been enhanced due to vaccination. Okay. So some people are thinking along that line as well when it comes to autism. So making sure you watch what your child eats mm-hmm. if they're autistic. Staying away from casein, which is dairy, is very, very important. Really? Staying away from certain... Um, immunizations they have to get that have mercury in it. Mm -hmm. Even when they go to the dentist to get fillings, make sure that they're not filled with mercury. You can do a natural holistic type of dentistry to make sure that the child is not getting that heavy dose within them. Oh, wow. You know, I'm telling you, every time you come, I learn something new. Now, let's say we have a parent who's listening or or guardian or caretaker. Can they get in contact with you to just kind of ask some general questions and you can kind of consult them so that they know and will feel comfortable on using chiropractic services? Most definitely. They can uh, contact me at 636-336-8049. 636-336-8049. And we can talk about the questions um, dealing with these issues, especially when you already have a social worker that you're dealing with, mm-hmm. but also just make sure you're implementing chiropractic as well with these children. Yes. I have autistic children I treat now, and they're just like any other child. Mm-hmm. Just have the enhanced ability of being super duper smart, mm-hmm. super duper outgoing, but it's just something else that's there. And chiropractic helps ease that discomfort, make them comfortable in the room that they're in, which is really, really good. And I like that approach because it makes us enhance the beauty of them. So just bring out the best in them on an everyday level, not make them seem like autism has beat their child. They can beat autism. Amen, so. amen. You know, Dr. Broderick, your, uh, the ages of your clientele can go from one year, infants to 100 years old. I mean, everybody can use chiropractic. Yes, ma'am, and that's true for everyone. You don't have to have a problem to come in. Mm-hmm. You could be totally fine and healthy from your point of view, but mm-hmm. making sure that your body is aligned, mm-hmm. making sure that you can deal with everyday things is very important. That's oh, very important. You know, I just want to let my listeners know, if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Dr. Katrina thompson Bowdry, otherwise known as talk, Dr. Tebow, <laughs> the pocket doctor, and a uh, great woman. How about all of that? She's got all of those all of those titles, but she's here this morning. She's our resident chiropractor here at the CBC Radio Show. Now, Dr. Bowdry, you know we got to have a healthy living tip. Yes, Can we ma'am. expect to have a healthy living tip later on in the program? Yes, ma'am. Look out for this information. It's very vital, very critical, very important to your lifestyle. If you don't know someone with this, someone else will know someone with it as well. And it could benefit and help them. You see how she gave that little teaser? That she didn't say exactly <laughs> what she was talking about. That's good. That's good. So that means you've got to stay tuned yes. to hear this week's Healthy Living Tip. Dr. Bowdery, we're just about out of time. Is there anything else you want to say this morning? I would just like to say your health is your wealth. When you start to put things in perspective about your life and how you want to re- your energy to be received and you put yourself first, then you can go ahead and do the things that you really want to do in life. You can really, really do that. Taking care of yourself, taking care of your loved ones, making sure chiropractic is a part of your your routine. Yes. Making sure that your health inside counts as well as the outside. So just not just looking at, hey, she has this type of bag or this type of car or this type of hair that doesn't define your inner beauty your inner health your spinal health and how your intestines your stomach all of those things have to perform properly in order you to enjoy that so we have to make sure that as well you just said a whole lot right there and chiropractic can definitely help that thank you so much dr you're welcome thank you thompson bowdry our personal chiropractic (laughs) physician right here at the CBC Radio Show. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me and don't forget, keep listening so you can hear this week's Healthy Living Tip. I'll be right back. Good morning, and thank you for listening to Dr. Tebow's Cairo Healthy Living Tip. Today's Healthy Living Tip, we're going to talk about fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is the name that is given to chronic widespread muscular pain, which has no obvious cause. This pain is usually aching, stiff, burning, throbbing, sleep disturbances, headaches, and fatigue can often happen. 80 to 90% of the population that are diagnosed with this syndrome 
are females. So what can you do in order to help with what you are experiencing? Listen up because I have some healthy living tips for you. Number one, a wholesome diet, fruits, vegetables, minimizing whole grains, discontinuing unprocessed foods, increasing your lean proteins will make a big difference. Number two, exercise. Exercise to your tolerance. Choose a form of exercise that you can enjoy and gradually increase in intensity. You can definitely start off with warm water exercises to improve your system. Number three, nutritional supplements. After determining what's low in your system, start incorporating vitamins such as B12, C, E, magnesium, and calcium. These help increase your cellular energy and relax your nerves and muscles. Number four, chiropractic adjustments. Chiropractic adjustments help improve the structural alignment and nerve flow, which relieves fibromyalgia. Remember, your health is important and your spine is too. Start now getting adjusted because it can make a big difference for you. If you have any questions, you can contact me at 636-336-8049. 636-336-8049. Or follow me on Instagram at The Pocket Doctor. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I am so excited about this next business owner. Oh, my goodness. She has a fantastic line of products to talk to you about. And she's going to be at the upcoming evening of Synergy this coming Friday, May 13th from 6 to 8 at the Urban League. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show this morning, Mrs. Paulette Grant of Paparazzi Accessories. Good Good morning. Good morning, Sister Nona. Well, you know, I did not prep you on this question, but I ask everybody this question before we start. And it is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Oh, each and every day. Each you, and every day, but definitely today. You rejoicing? You glad in it? I'm excited and happy and joyful and gleeful and all those <laughs> words. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Well, could it be because paparazzi, they're chasing you down? Could that be what it is? <laughs> a, a little bit. You know, besides the Lord, they are chasing me down. That's part of my excitement. You are so right, Sister Nona. Yes. yes. And I just want to tell our listeners, Listeners, that the paparazzi accessory are beautiful. You have a wonderful line. Tell us about it. Oh, we have um, necklaces, and all of our ne- necklaces come with matching earrings. We have headbands, we have um, rings, we have uh, hippie bands for your head. We also have a line for our kids, and we also have unisex, so your men could be glamorized too, but not so much on the glittery side. Oh, my goodness. You say you got something for everybody, huh? Yes, we do at $5. No, five American dollars. Yes, ma'am, five American dollars. <laughs> now, Kitten, I want to ask you this because this is so important. Now, you're going to be at the evening of Synergy next week, right? Yes, ma'am, and I'm so excited for this opportunity to be a vendor. Yes, you'll be there. That means you're going to have all of your paparazzi laid out. Oh, yes, ma'am. I'm going to have a complete set up. Oh my goodness. But just in case, folks cannot wait because you're talking about $5 for quality accessories. How can folks get in contact with you? We need your web information. We need your Facebook. We need everything. Okay. Um, my website is www.glitterize and accessorize45 and that's F-O-R, the number five dot com. Or you can call me at 314-853-7465. You know, give us that uh, website one more time, would you? Okay, I'll spell it out. It's www.glitterizedandaccessorizedfor, the number five, dot com. My goodness. And your phone number one more time? It's 314-853-7465. Now, I have just got to uh, endorse this uh, line of jewelry and accessories because $5, you would think, oh, it's going to look like a certain way. But no, this is quality. Everything is perfect. And you don't even have to think because the, the, 
the sets come together. We don't even have to think and put anything together, do we? No, ma'am. We've done all that for you. Basically, we are your fashion consultants for jewelry. Uh, we have some different sets called Faction Fix, and that comes with a necklace, earrings, a bracelet, or a ring. And those sets are 20, but individually they're five, but it's a complete look. So all you do is pick that up, put on with your outfit, and you're ready to go. I love it. I love it. Well, you're going to be at the Evening of Synergy at the Urban League this coming Friday. You're going to have everything laid out, and they can just, hey, they can just buy up everything, can't they? Whatever they would like to put in their pink bag. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Mrs. Paulette Grant of Paparazzi Accessories, for being a part of the CBC radio show today. Thank you for having me, Sister Nona. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Look, you can go ahead and go to the website right now. You don't have to wait until Friday. Order your paparazzi accessories today. Thank you, everyone, for listening to the CBC radio show today. All of my guests, you are fantastic. You rock. Look, go to my website, thecbcradioshow.com. As always, to God be the glory. Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world.